Hey everyone, and welcome to Wings Talks. Uh, we're here with uh, Sohab Roustaya from the Queer Amsterdam. Um, nice to meet you, nice first to of meet all. You. Uh, you're really busy with organizing everything for the uh, up and coming events. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, events that you've organized personally? Uh, personally, I'm organizing the um, uh, brunch on Sunday. We're going to have the queer opening, the queer hubs opening in uh, Podium Mosaic. Mm -hmm. And then we will go also to Rosa Kwaku where we will have a stage, the block. Yes. And um, I'm going to organize also on Wednesday the trans conference and the trans dinner. Yeah. That's going to be in the public space where we are going to reclaim our uh, space yeah. in the city uh, by being in a public space of uh, Light Supply. Yes. So it's like an open air dinner, basically. Yes, That's yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, and what about the weather? Do you know if it's going to be good or not? Oh my God, I hope so. <laughs> like, I hope this week is going to rain, so next week is not going to be raining. And I read that um, safe spaces is like a, a big big part of queer Amsterdam. Can yeah. you explain to us what, what, what those are, or what, what the idea behind it is? Yeah, I think it's important because as a, a, a safe space such as that we guarantee that doesn't exist for us. So we always talk about safer spaces where we want to actually encourage all participants, organizers, producers, makers, everyone to uh, be aware of their own positionality in the society and also be aware about the safety uh, on guarding uh, marginalized voices and people within our community yes. because there are so many differences within, uh, within us and there are so many layers of discrimination. So we want to create with this program uh, also awareness and with the safer spaces we want to guarantee, not guarantee, but try to create a space where marginalized voices are gonna feel um, safer. Yes. And can, can you give us an, an example of that? Um, yeah, so we have like uh, a couple rules where we are like, we have zero tolerance for discrimination when it comes to anti-black racism, when it comes to Islamophobia, uh, anti-Semitism, things like that, but also that we don't uh, tolerate any harassment if it comes to sexual harassment, verbal harassment, but we have also, we talk about consent that people should ask even when, when a name comes uh, yeah. up, if you want to know someone's name, that we ask for consent. So, and on one hand, we try to be um, aware of the complicity of it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we want to create awareness so people are more aware of their own positionality within the society. Yeah. Um, there's also an event that has to do with a little bit with play. Yes. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Because <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm organizing. I forgot to, to mention it, but I'm going to organize the play party with my crew, uh, Fight Club Neon Play Party mm -hmm. in uh, Aknaton. Yeah. And what we actually do is really historical. Is that it's part of the night program of uh, Queer Amsterdam, and we create a safer space for everybody except for cis men unfortunately yeah. but uh, this way we want to create a space for uh, trans people non-binary people women gender fluid people and uh, so they can explore their sexual desires without feeling any threats or being afraid to feel um, danger yes and that, what does this party look like uh, who, who's, who are the DJs is there like a dark room or something like that yes 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 we have a couple dark rooms we have the dark rooms upstairs we have a place where people can have have orgies we will have also downstairs uh, play area this time because we wanted to make it accessible also with people with um, uh, who are using wheelchair mm -hmm. and um, we will have amazing DJs like DJ Razu is coming from Colombia DJ Dizzy who's from uh, Utrecht and uh, ever from uh, Amsterdam based and we have also amazing performers line up who are gonna tease a little bit yeah, the yeah, audience yeah, yeah. to get in the Hot. mood And there's another event that you're also going to do. It's like a sex worker conference. Yes. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, it's not really a conference. It's going to be a whole day because the, the play party is part of the sex workers day. Um, Queer Amsterdam is actually focusing on marginalized voices and we want to, uh, we conducted also a day for trans people on Wednesday and on, on Thursday we're going to have all our focus about the intersection between queer community and sex workers and we will have a program in uh, the Oude Kerk, mm -hmm. in Casa Rosso and then at the end we will finish with the play party. But, but what will happen during the conference? We will have panel talks, we will have performances, the dialogue and understand 
about what is going on because uh, of course the windows are being closed and there is a lot of pressure on sex workers yeah. and they want to raise their voice and show their visibility about the importance of sex workers within and outside the community. And uh, are there any famous sex workers attending? Uh, probably, they do go to pub. They need to just come and see yes, who they are, yes, yeah. I understand that. So the play party, is there also a dress code? Uh, not really. We want to encourage people to uh, come as they like and they can uh, get also dressed in the space because as you know in the city center or in Amsterdam it's not always safe to get dressed uh, as you want. Yeah. Uh, but we encourage people to discover themselves and if they want to get naked then get naked. So I love say. that. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I would say go there, have a nice night. Yes. Go naked if you want to. Yes. Uh, and also make sure to visit any of the other uh, events, events that are taking yeah. place during Queer Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, have a lot of fun. Thanks, you I too. hope you won't be too stressed the next coming weeks. And um, yeah, we, we will see you there probably as yes. well. Yes, okay. thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye.